Throughout the whole chapter of John 8, we see very clear examples of love and hate. In our culture, we use the saying, love is blind, but I don't believe that. True love isn't blind to someone's faults. It accepts them and overlooks them. The Bible says love covers a multitude of sin. But hate, on the other hand, is blinding. Hate makes it impossible to see any good in someone. This is evidenced in John 8. At the beginning of the chapter, the religious leaders are trying to stone a woman for sin. But Jesus sets her free. In the middle of the chapter, they, they're so busy trying to prove Jesus to be a sinner that it never occurs to them that Jesus was truly the Messiah. Instead, they called him a liar. They called him demon-possessed. They called him illegitimate. By the end of the chapter, they literally are picking up stones to kill Jesus. See, Jesus said things they didn't like, so they canceled him. Another term we use in our culture. Love acts differently. Jesus acted differently. Jesus was very aware of the adulterous woman's sin, but he set her free anyway. Jesus was very aware that the religious leaders wanted to kill him, but he engaged with them anyway and loved them enough to tell them the truth. And how we respond to truth is how we know that we belong to God. John 8, 47 says, Anyone who belongs to God listens gladly to the words of God.